This video is all about gravitational acceleration and how to calculate it. So let's start with this example. Calculate the acceleration due to gravity on the moon, which has a mass of 7.35 times 10 to the 22 kilograms and a radius of 1.74 times 10 to the 6 meters. So what formula can we use to calculate the acceleration due to gravity of a planetary body? Well, let's draw a picture. So let's say this is the moon. And we have some object that's to the left of the moon. Now the moon is going to pull the object toward itself. And so this object is going to have an acceleration. Imagine if you have an apple and you let the apple go. It's going to fall to the ground. The earth is going to pull the apple toward itself. So the same is true with the moon. The moon, the moon is going to exert a gravitational force that's going to take this object and pull it towards the moon. And so that object has an acceleration. And that acceleration is known as the acceleration due to gravity. So we want to calculate it. So let's write an expression for the net force in the x direction. The only force that's acting on this object is the force of gravity. Now the moon pulls on this object with a force F, and that object pulls on the moon with the same force. So let's just call that force Fg, force of gravity. Now the net force, according to Newton's second law, is mass times acceleration. Now let's say lowercase m is the mass of the object, capital M is the mass of the moon. The gravitational force is equal to the gravitational constant times the two masses, the mass of the object and the mass of the moon, divided by the square of the distance between them, where r is the distance between the center of the object and the center of the moon. Now the next thing that we could do is we can cancel the mass of the object. And so the acceleration in the x direction is g m over r squared. The acceleration due to gravity, you've probably seen it as lowercase g. So lowercase g for any planet or moon is going to be the universal gravitational constant times the mass of that planet divided by the square of the distance. So this is the formula that you need to calculate the gravitational acceleration. So let's go ahead and finish this problem. The universal gravitational constant is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. The mass of the moon is given to us, and so that's 7.35 times 10 to the 22 kilograms. And the distance between the object and the moon is really the radius of the moon. We want to find the acceleration due to gravity on the moon. So let's assume that the object is actually on the surface of the moon. I drew it over here just to draw this just to come up with the equations. That's going to help us to derive this equation. But we want to find the acceleration due to gravity on the moon, so technically the object should be on it, which means the distance between the object and the center of the moon is just the radius of the moon. So r is going to be 1.74 times 10 to the 6. And don't forget to square it. Otherwise, you won't get the right answer. That's a very common mistake. So the gravitational acceleration on the moon, based on this information, is about 1.62 meters per second squared. And that's it. Now let's move on to this problem. Calculate the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the Earth and 3,500 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. And we're given the mass of the Earth and the radius of the Earth. Alright, so let's start with the center. I mean, not the center, but the surface of the Earth. So what is the acceleration at, let's say, point A on the surface of the Earth? So we're going to use this equation, gm over r squared. 
So capital G is going to be the same. It's a constant. It's not going to change. The mass of the Earth, that's 5.97 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. And the radius of the Earth is 6.38 times 10 to the 6 meters. And we're going to square it. So the gravitational acceleration is 9.78 meters per second squared, which you could round it and say it's about 9.8. So that's how you can calculate the gravitational acceleration of the Earth using that formula. Now, when an object moves further away from the Earth, the gravitational acceleration decreases because it's inversely related to the square of the distance. So as the distance from the Earth increases, the gravitational acceleration uh, decreases. So let's calculate the acceleration due to gravity for an object that's 3,500 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. So it's going to be less than 9.78. Let's see how much less it's going to be. So let's say that object is located at point B. So the distance between the surface of the Earth and that object is 3,500 kilometers. So now let's use the formula. G is equal to GM over R squared. Capital G is the same. And the mass of the Earth, that's constant. That's not going to change either. Now, what's r in this problem? r is the distance between the center of the Earth and point b. So keep in mind, the radius of the Earth, we have that. I'm going to write it as r, but it's 6.38 times 10 to the 6. So let me draw the picture. I need to draw a bigger picture. Let's say this is the Earth. So this distance here, that's 6.38 times 10 to the 6. And then we have this distance between the surface of the Earth and point B. That's 3,500 kilometers. And one kilometer is 1,000 meters. So if we convert it, we need to multiply 3,500 kilometers by 1,000 to convert it to meters. So 3,500 times 1,000 is 3.5 million which is 3.5 times 10 to the 6 meters. So before you add these two, make sure that the unit is the same because the radius is in meters, so that has to be in meters as well. So therefore, R is the total distance from the center of the Earth to point B. So we need to add these two numbers. If you missed a step, you will not get the right answer. So 6.38 times 10 to the 6 plus 3.5 times 10 to the 6 will give us an R value of 9.88 times 10 to the 6. And let's not forget to square it. So the gravitational acceleration is greatly reduced. Now it's 4.08 meters per second squared. So the gravitational acceleration greatly decreases as you move away from the Earth. It's still present, but it's a lot weaker. The closer you get towards the Earth, the greater the acceleration. So let's say at point C, the gravitational acceleration is going to be a lot less. Let's work on our last question. Planet X has a gravitational acceleration of 7.5 meters per second squared, so that's the g value, and it has a radius of 4.5 times 10 to the 6 meters. So what is the mass of planet X? Well, let's start with this equation. Lowercase g is equal to gm over r squared. Our goal is to get m by itself. So I'm going to multiply both sides by r squared over g. 
on the right side, r squared will cancel and g will cancel. So m is equal to this stuff. So the mass of the planet is going to be the gravitational acceleration times the square of the radius divided by the gravitational constant. So that's how we could find it. So it's going to be 7.5 meters per second squared times the radius of 4.5 times 10 to the 6 squared divided by 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. So the mass of this planet is 2.28 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. So anytime you know the radius of the planet and the gravitational acceleration of that planet, you can actually calculate the mass of the planet.